Hi, I'm Dr. Rod Shaw of Math Plus Academy, and this math treat is about polyominoes. Now, you may not have ever heard that term before, but you've probably heard the term domino. You might have played the game dominoes or at least seen what dominoes look like. A domino looks essentially like this. It's basically two squares connected and sharing this edge right here. So that's a domino. And you could draw another one that looks like this, right? So this one's kind of vertical and that one's horizontal. But really, if we had physical dominoes, you could easily take this one and rotate it. And they're really the same. So there's really only one kind of domino, a, which is a polyomino made out of two squares where they lie in the plane, so they're flat. The squares are the same size and they have to share at least one edge with one of the other squares. So those are dominoes. Not too much to explore there. So let's amp it up a little bit. Let's look at triominoes, which take three squares. So if I want to make something like this out of three squares, again, all the squares have to be the same size, lie in the plane, and share an edge. So I could just take my domino and add another square to it. Let me do that. There you go. I've turned this domino into a triomino. It has three squares. They all share an edge. Cool. There's a, we could give this a name. It's the tall, straight triomino. Now, let me share a couple things with you. What if I, instead of putting the square here, put it there? Is that a triomino? No, it is not. It's breaking one of our rules that they have to share an entire edge. Yes, they touch at an edge, but they don't share an entire edge not a triomino. So we're going to delete this one. Another thing you might think about doing is just have them connect up at a corner like that. Is that a triomino? No. By our rules and definitions, that is not a triomino. It does not share an edge with any of the other squares. So that's out. So I just want to make those rules clear. We'll go back to having this one. Okay, and at this point, certain questions can arise like, is this the only triomino? Are there other shaped triominoes? How many different shaped triominoes are there? So let's explore that a little bit. I'll take this domino and add a square to it. Now if I added a square here, I'd get another three in a row, basically the same as this one. So I won't do that. I'll maybe add it here. Okay, this one, same size as the other two, shares an edge. That is a triomino, clearly not the same as that one. We found at least two different kinds of triominoes. Are there any more? Well, let's see, maybe I start with two again and add a third one here. Now, is that a new one? Or is that the same as that one, just rotated around? So for the purposes of this math treat, we are going to say that these are the same. If you can rotate it or flip it over and then it would be exactly the same as another one, we're going to count those as exactly the same. So in this case, I did not create a new triomino. I still just have two. Part of your expo exploration here can be, can you make another shaped triomino? That's an interesting question to explore. So the next thing we can do is explore tetrominoes, things that are made out of four squares, polyominoes that are made out of four squares. And I could immediately start from here and make some tetrominoes. Uh, maybe I add a square there. Okay, that's a straight line tetromino. Maybe I add a square here. That's a T-shaped tetromino. If you've ever played Tetris, you might recognize these shapes. They're, the, ga the game is made out of tetrominoes. So that could give you a little head start on these. My question here is how many different kinds of tetrominoes are there? I've made two for you. How many more can you find? And if you solve that, then I would love for you to explore pentominoes, which are made out of five squares. So that is your math treat challenge. How many triominoes are there? How many tetrominoes are there? How many pentominoes are there? See how many you can find of each type with three squares, four squares, and five squares. And if you get really excited and you want to go a little further, Try hexominoes that are made out of six. And lastly, can, there may be a pattern 
of how these things sequence and you might be able to make a guess at how many septominoes there are which we made out of seven squares. So as always, play around with this and just have fun playing with math.